welcome back to another Prairie Sense of Ranch Farm vlog. I'm Aaron. And thank you for tuning in, my friends. You guessed it, the old New Holland disc mower had some issues and we had to do some mechanical repairs. Basically, one of my drive modules went so we have to rebuild one of the drive modules with a new pinion gear, new seals, new collars, you name it. We're rebuilding the entire module. On top of that, we have to pull the gearbox apart. That's right, we got to split the gearbox and the New Holland disc mower. We got to replace a bevel gear. The main bevel gear that powers that entire disc mower, all the pods went down. It's stripped. So. We pulled that out and we found that there was a bearing on at the bottom. So we got to replace the bearing on that bevel gear at the very bottom of the gearbox as well. So we got lots of work to do. Get your wrenches out, get your beers out. Let's get at her. Well, first let's start with the old uh, drive module. Let's get that old drive module slapped together, put together and ready for service. And then it will be gearbox time. Got my diagram, got my parts. So I ordered an extra one of these uh extra one of these shafts. Well, if you find these videos educational, fun, or just plain whatever, <laughs> please remember to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, tell YouTube, hey, you know what, this is okay. Let's show it to a few more people. Let's get back to work, folks. The main part. So this going to go in here because this one is toast bearings are toast stripped so got a snap ring here I popped off this uh this cover just took a chisel popped her off and we got a little bit of a collar a little clip here so we got a These collars are always fun to get out. It's just a little snap collar. There. Okay, a snap collar. And this one should just pull out. Yeah. So they got it's like a couple collars, so that's good. Yeah, I remember seeing a bunch of collars in that pack. Oh, it's just one thick one. Put that there. And there's just this one, another collar. Thick grooved, thick groove on it. And it goes in. And I think that's it. I think there's just. Now I think we should just be able to punch it out from the other side. There you have it, it's out. Well, I just punched out from the inside, this other ring, there's another coupling ring down there, you can see. I'll flip it around and show you. I punched it out from the other side, punched in from this side, out. It's gonna be facing inward, like so. So I believe it goes like that. Now I'm going to put the pinion in. I got the um, bearing assembly in there with the snap collar. Mm -hmm. So I should be able to put this in. And then uh, there's a collar and an end that's going to go on this. So So I, <clears throat> what I did here, I got the other side in, the other bearing assembly so it could be held first in place. So I made sure it's held in place. Um, so for this bearing assembly, what I found in the past, I just have a pair of pliers. You just take the pliers on each side. Once it gets further in, it doesn't uh, 
it doesn't work well, but up top, all you need is this. Gently hold it, tap it, and the bearing assembly went slid right in there. Nice and snug, no play. It's good to go, so now we can get the rest together. I noted that they have five, 10, 12, 13, 14. Those all look like, um, they all look like um, uh, washers, <clears throat> but there's actually only five and 10 are solid washers. 12, 13, 14 are gonna be the shims. So what I mean by a shim is they're gonna be the very uh, thin, thin, narrow um, little shims. This is the washer. This is what they call a washer. It's thick. And then they have three shims at the end. So these are just very fine, thin pieces of uh, material. Put it just right at the end, and give it a little squeeze with my hand. Boom. This was the hardest collar to put on. I suggest having a special spanning tool so you could appropriately spread that uh, collar All to get right. on there. Just put the dust cap back on, patched up, ready to go. Nice and tight. Throw a little bit of grease in those gears, we're good to go. Here we go. Module underneath the gearbox, fully rebuilt. Good to go. Nice seal, got all the rings, snap rings in there. I'm gonna fill this with, uh, they call for 10 ounces. I'm gonna probably put 11, 12 ounces of uh, full synthetic uh, uh, gear oil in there, New Holland. And I got these two major bolts off, all four of these. Took the belt off. I basically just slid off half the cover. And now I'm just pulling this uh, gear out to see. What, I don't know what to expect. Never had a part like this, so. Well, let's not forget about the old gear box. Let's rip into this. Should be fun. That bottom gear out. It's the most important gear on the whole thing, I, I'd say, on the whole disc more. Let's get at her. I had most of the gear oil drained, apparently not, so. Uh, anyways, that thing is heavy. Like 60 pounds, it's heavy. <sighs> now that one little pin at the top, it's not so bad. So I gotta pull this little pin, I gotta punch that out, take the nut off, and then, uh, and the gear should go back in. This is the new gear. Here's the new pin. Let's go make sure it's the right uh Yeah. There we go. All right. Let's go get the little punch. Let's punch that key out. So next time I have to drain the oil better. I gotta get a shovel after. It's just on grass and stuff, so I'll just scoop the grass up and uh, dispose of it. But I'm gonna punch it out with this. I'm just gonna, yeah, punch it out. There we have it. Well, 
<clears throat> rest of the gear seems to be okay. I don't want to lose my pen here, but ah, actually the gears are wore down a little bit. Nothing crazy. So we're gonna put this on exactly the same way it was. It's a bearing with an assembly or cup. And then there's a uh, dust cap. It sits at the bottom of the gearbox. And nuts and nut just screws on there. So we got the new bevel gear in. Uh, this was from the bottom. So basically, we have this unscrewed, pop that out, comes out in two pieces. There's the new gear, it's in there. So, now to slap the other, uh, the gearbox together, I guess, essentially, place it back together, and then it'll be time to bolt on the module, and yeah, just keep on going. We're going to use some of this uh, RTV gray silicone gasket maker for this. I just cleaned around here. Get the parts of the cleaner. Made sure it's totally clean, dry. And now we're going to put this on. Well, why am I going around there? That's exactly where I saw the other one. So. Oh my God. <laughs> Turn here. A little bit. All right, basically put the module, I leveled out the, uh, the gearbox. I put a jack under there, put on a lip, I got a screw or a bolt in there. I'm just jacking this up and it looks like it's gonna match up fairly decent. So let's see if we can get another bolt in there. So I put all six bolts in, I made sure they were all good, finger tight, not cross threaded, and I tightened them up to hold the drive module to the gearbox once I knew the gear was lined up appropriately. <clears throat> Got the bottom module bolted on. I checked it, spinning nice and free. So now we gotta slide the cutter bar back in. So Well, I got the crowbar pushed in and tightening it up. So, good day so far, I guess, in terms of repairs. <laughs> well, as many hours later, we got the gearbox on, we got bolted on we have the three pieces of the cutter bar bolted together get everything timed correctly spins nice it did not add oil to the gearbox mo gearbox module the r uh the rtv uh gas the gasket maker that we used uh takes two hours to dry but that doesn't mean you can just add fluid. It takes 24 hours to fully cure. So I'm gonna add that in the morning. I'm gonna leave it overnight. And then I'm gonna go cutting tomorrow. But it's a lot smoother, you can tell already. Uh, just everything's 
flowing a lot smoother. I did already put module uh, or fill up that module that we changed with uh, fresh oil. So we should be good there. But we got to take a make a point of checking, pulling that little dipstick down in that corner. But uh, all in all, she's back together. Was it a big job? Yeah, it was a hell of a big job. It was, it was a big job. Well, the hell with this. I'm done the repair. The gearbox is back together. The drive module's back together. The disc mower's working, hopefully. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.